Allison. This is Wonder Crochet. Welcome back. If you're new here, I talk all things crafting, crochet, amigurumi, and cozy fun. Today, I thought that it would be fun to chat about my 10 most popular crochet patterns so far this year. And if you're not a crocheter and you would like to learn how to crochet plushies, just like all of these, I have a full online course that is linked in the description. You learn from the very beginning how to crochet and how to crochet well. So let's jump into these patterns. So these patterns are specifically ones that I sell in my shop and not the free patterns that I have on my blog, just because it's harder to gauge popularity. Obviously I can look at page views and everything for my blog, but being able to rank orders is really easy. <laughs> so that's what we're going with today. And this is just for this year. So these past eight months, what have been the most popular items in my shop? And I like to look at these and kind of review just to see what you all enjoy making. And a lot of the times this is also the types of plushies that people enjoy buying. So if you are a crocheter and you do like to sell plushies, this is a good way to gauge what people like to buy and just their general interest. So this isn't necessarily fair for my newer patterns that have only been around for a month or so. Like for example, my No Sew Octopus, she's not on the list, but her pattern has been out for less than a month. So it's hard to gauge. So I'm going to start with number 10 and then work down to number one just to build the suspense a little bit. And my 10th most popular pattern so far this year is my ice cream cone pattern. And this is actually a pretty new one too. This has only been out for a month and a half, I would say. But it's a pretty simple one and I found that you all seem to like the more simple patterns and I totally get it. This one doesn't require any sewing except for the little cherry, unless you want to glue it on, which you can absolutely do. But this one's fun because you can do a lot of different variety. I did a mint chocolate chip one and then kind of like a birthday cake one here and there's a lot of possibilities. This is number 10. Number nine, I actually don't have any physical plushes with me and it's the only one on the list that I don't have any. So I'll pop a picture in here. It's my little dragon plush. I came out with this one years ago, but I had it in worsted weight. So then I redesigned it in the Parfait Chunky yarn and you all really like that, which I really appreciate. But I've also made this one in several different colors as well. So I think that's why it's in the top 10 is it can be pretty versatile, just like the ice cream cone. And number eight was a little bit of a surprise and it is my daisy pillow pattern. It's a surprise because this is a free pattern and I have the ad free PDF in my shop because I know a lot of people prefer it that way to not have to deal with ads on the website and to have a physical pattern. I like to do that as well sometimes for free patterns, but the sales for the PDF of the free pattern is in the top 10, which is so funny to me. I'm also really appreciative of that, of you all supporting me when I come out with these free patterns. But this one is a no sew as well, so no sewing required at all. I use Sweet Snuggles yarn, or you can use Parfait XL, which is a size 7 jumbo yarn, which is how it's so big. <laughs> I have a pink one and I have a purple one, and they're sitting on the bed in the craft room. And they really just bring a pop of color to the space. So check it out, especially because this one is free. That's number eight. And number seven is perfect for my fellow fall lovers. It's my pumpkin spice latte pattern. This is a low sew pattern as well. You just have to sew on any of the details. And I always mention if something is no sew or low sew, because I know it's really popular right now and a lot of people do have an aversion to sewing a lot in a crochet pattern, which I totally get. But I also included some mods at the end of the crochet pattern, just of some other options that you can make using the same base pattern. I did a matcha latte with two little tea leaves on the side and I also did a peppermint latte for like a holiday Christmassy one. I have like a strawberry milkshake mod as well. But once again, I found that you all love variety and I do too. It's really fun to take one pattern and make several things from it. So that is number seven, the pumpkin spice latte. So just like the daisy pillow, number six is the sunflower pillow. I was so excited for how excited you all were for this one. Once again, no sewing required for this and it's a free pattern on my blog, but I do have the ad free PDF in my shop. And I really appreciate you all getting that even though this is a free pattern, but this is by far my most popular free pattern this year. And once again, this uses size seven jumbo yarn to make it really big. This is almost 20 inches across. So it's definitely a doozy of a project with all 10 of the petals. But I've also seen some of you make it in a smaller yarn like Parfait Chunky or even in worsted weight yarn and I love how it turns out. It's obviously smaller, but it's nice to have little throw pillows too if you don't have access to this type of yarn. 
This is number six, the sunflower pillow. Number five is probably my favorite pattern that I designed this year, and that is my kitten pattern. <laughs> A little kitten holding a ball of yarn and once again for this one i included several different accessories for the kitten to hold so there's a little piece of sushi there's there's a mouse toy and then there's the classic ball of yarn but this was actually one of my mascots for my brand at the beginning of the year i really wanted to design crocheting animals and crochet them put them on stickers and hoodies just for something fun and different so this was one of the ones that we designed and I named her Clover, the cat, and I'll show you the sticker. This was the design and then I made the cat from this design. <laughs> so that was a really fun project for me. So that's number five, my kitten plush. Number four brings back fun memories for me because I designed this one and then we spent a week at a lake house and that was my crab pattern. <laughs> He's just a, a little sitting standing crab that has two different versions. So. It's the like standing version and then the laying version. I did a strawberry crab for this one, <laughs> but the pattern includes both. So it's kind of two different crabs and it's completely no sew. So no sewing required at all. You crochet all the pieces on. It includes a video tutorial for how to crochet the pieces on. <laughs> I put a lot into this crab pattern and I'm really glad that so many of you liked it because this was a really fun one for me. And then I got to take pictures of it at the lake on the little beach there which was a lot of fun for me. It's always fun when art can imitate life a little bit. So that's number four, the, the no sew crab. We're into the top three now. So these are the top patterns so far in this year that kind of just blew all the other ones out of the water. And once again, it's so fun for me to look back and see what you all like because then it kind of gives me ideas for future patterns as well. So number three is the raccoon, the cute chubby little raccoon with the tail and Lots of color changes on the face. I will say this is my most difficult pattern. So if you're a beginner, I don't recommend this one just because there are so many color changes and the shaping as well. The arms and the head and the tail are no sew, but you do have to sew on the legs and the ears and the snout. So, and then obviously all the color changes are, are all part of the pattern. So it's a little bit more difficult, but I did love how this one turned out, especially the cute little belly here. <laughs> and of course I had to make it in different colors as well. I used floral yarn to make this one. And I just love these floral yarns that they came out with. It just gives everything a nice cute spring look. So that's number three, the raccoon. So we're at the top two. Can you guess what number two is before I show it? If you said my turtle, you were right. This is a completely no sew turtle with a little shell and he sits. Cause I like when my animals sit, I don't know why, <laughs> but I really loved designing this one. And this was another one that was designed as a sticker first before I turned it into a plush. I'll show you, there's the sticker and then there's the plush. I named it Jacob the turtle after my nephew because my nephew's one and he's bald and it kind of looks like him. <laughs> I didn't give this one a ball of yellow yarn, but I still can. Oh, and I forgot the raccoon. This one doesn't look as much like the raccoon plush, but I do have a raccoon sticker and it has a little hat that it's been working on. And honestly, I never named the raccoon. So if you have a cute name for the raccoon, drop it in the comments. So this is number two, Jacob the turtle, a cute, easy little no sew pattern. So we've made it to number one, and this is actually my number one pattern for two years running so far. I can't make anything else that you all like more than this. I've tried <laughs> and I get it, he's a cutie. The s'mores pattern. This is Graham, the s'mores. He sits on his graham crackers and has the chocolate drippings down. This one I actually, so for the original pattern, it's made with just white yarn, but I thought it would be fun to use the Parfait Pom Pom yarn since it has these like funfetti sprinkles in it. I thought that it would look cute and kind of tasty. For Graham, I'm so grateful. So I actually had a TikTok of Graham kind of blow up and I think that's why it's the most popular and I'm really appreciative of that. So now that we're getting into the fall months, I especially love to have bonfires with s'mores. So it's a great time to break Graham out. And I'm hoping that one day I can design another pattern that dethrones Graham, even though I love him. It's just kind of a fun challenge for me. So those were my top 10 most popular crochet patterns so far of 2023. Let me know which one was your favorite or if there's something that you really want to see me design because I love a good design challenge. I hope this inspires some new projects for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you real soon.